Okay, part two on our tippy plants because I forgot to share with you uh, how we do our spring cleanup. That's always, uh, I don't know, sometime April, May, it just depends on what the weather's doing. So we do it once things start to green up just a little bit. And we're actually having some of that underneath these plants right now. Ebony's hanging out with me, so is Ivy. So I'm gonna show you in the spring what we do, but since I mentioned it, I just wanted to tell you quickly that all those plants that you see that are tippy, they will be much more decomposed already in the spring. So we won't do anything with those. We'll just let them lie there and they'll be a great mulch for this bed, which gets really dry in the summer because of the kind of south facing aspect. Any of the tall stalks that are still standing, like this one, which is Prairie Dock, we will cut about, oh, I don't know, 15 inches or so from the ground. If some of the cut plants are still standing, we'll do the same thing. And there's been some research done and some people are speculating, uh, like Heather Holm and her pollinator books, that native bees utilize these stalks to a certain extent for their nesting sites. And then they just serve as a one season nesting area, which is perfect for them. That's what they need. And then there's not the buildup of diseases that you get with a lot of those really cool looking, uh, but sometimes not so great mason bee homes and uh, other native bee homes like that and you can see right here one of this golden raw galls check that out i think that one's a midge from a midge that forms these balls on there that has already been eaten out by a chickadee or a downy woodpecker i told you they're loving this zone so that's what we'll do in the spring i'll do you a video then to show you and right now we just have all kinds of awesome cover for really cool birds and mammals and plants that are nestled under all of this great organic matter okay that's the end for tippy plants you want them they're cool <laughs>